artificial inseminate uh, papoose <laughs> sperm into her uterus, and hopefully it catches one of those eggs, and he gives her a child. She gives him a child. But you said but that I'm she had powder eggs. Now I'm not. Gonna I don't know if they powder. I tell you, I'm not going because I'm not going to let you back here. I thought they was powder because she ain't had no baby. But I, I see she's going to the in in, in the fraternity. So you finally have something good to say about Remy. I do. She's 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 uh 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 uh. uh uh, 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 doing right by the conditions of her probation. I want her to love on her husband and give him a child. And and it seems like she's going in that direction. We we seen her at the utility clinic. Uh, you said the utility. Wait. The utility clinic, not the first. You said the utility fertility clinic. Fertility clinic. And um, she's trying to have twins. And the Mackies have a new show. They're doing a Christmas special, so y'all tune in. Please and tune I want to see Black and Love. And we will be watching the show because we are. this is all fun and game, and we're fans. I want to see Black we're Love. We're fans. Y'all know I love Papu. You know why? Because you got what? <laughs> love signals. <laughs> Tell me, do you feel it? Love signals. Yes. I can't wait to see him on TV. Come on, finish it out. Send Sending them, out. them out to you. Yes. Did y'all see me with that black fur on? Girl, they yeah. had on red fur, so I put on some black fur so I could. No, right. So what are we sentencing Azalea Banks to? Are we sentencing Azalea Banks to us counseling? I need her to get a little backbone. Azalea Banks, we here at the Queen's Court love you like a fat bitch love cake. We were going to bring you on to give you some counseling, some strength counseling. And we're going to ask you to fix your bowling. And don't ever show your feelings on social media. Ever. Ever. Tell me. Tell them hoes to suck my pussy for a poke chop in a bitch. Next case. Next case. All right. Oh no. You don't want to talk about this? Oh no. After these bitches been stealing all my music and sampling my voice, you don't want to talk about this? Next on the docket, we have Rocco and Future. Rocco taught me how to sit back and wait and let them get the money and then take all eight figures of it. Rocco sued Future. You know, there's some pictures of Future and Young Thugger. Everybody wanted to know what was the T. You want to pull that up? Can you pull it up? Go Let on your phone and pull it up Lord, real quick. wait a minute. But Rocco, we heard that Rocco was, uh, uh, Future was signed to Rocco. They say Future went and did other deals with other people and made a whole lot of money and act like he wasn't signed to Rocco. And Rocco well, came well, back well, and well, got Future for half of everything he owned. He just did a, a settled in an eight figure lawsuit. Eight figures, bitch. Yeah, all this time Future has been Rocco's artist. So Monica gonna have a marriage. Bitch, Christmas. Monica gonna have a ho ho ho. Yes. Monica is gonna have a Monica marriage. over there singing Santa baby. Yes, please hurry, 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 hurry tonight. Yes. Santa baby. Rock on, teach me, see, it's just the bitches that been stealing my shit. Them tired ass, herpy infected ass young hoes down there in Miami and all the rest of them tired ass hoes that's been stealing my shit. Ain't got no money like Future. See, Rocco waited. And let Future make all the money and then came back and sued the hell out of his ass. See, that's what I'm going to do to Coach K and QC down there in Miami for stealing my shit. And all the rest of you hoes down there that want to post numbers up because y'all got two and three and four thousand dollars for a mixtape. Jolly old saint, bitch. You should to post that. So, so but that. if you ever make some money, just know Coach K, QC, and all the rest of you motherfuckers down there. If you ever make some money, I'm coming to get it. Santa Claus gonna pull up like Jolly Old Saint Nick. Nick maybe wait all year yeah, for the dig. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Oh, yes, Rocco. <laughs> you having a Merry Christmas. I like that shit. Next time. Oh, God. You, Kaya, listen. Let me, I ain't got nothing to do with this. Can I hold you real quick? I ain't before, got nothing to do with it. Before I call it this. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Let me hold you close. Ooh, sister, me, what you got to say? I got to hold you close because you're going to be fighting next week. I love her. Because this is the people's channel. I love her. Ladies and gentlemen, next on the docket, Cardi B. <laughs> Cardi B, is there, Cardi any, B is, is there right. anybody in here that's representing Cardi B? Is there any representation for Cardi B? We don't have any representation. We the people are trying Cardi B and Offset and that Phantom. <laughs> Did she buy him a fan? We the people, the people are claiming that you spent a half a million dollars on a boyfriend slash fiance for TV. Slash nigga that I just knew in two weeks. 
They say you bought him a Rolls Royce and a watch that cost over a half a million dollars and that your family is still in the hood. Now, I don't know how true... Allegedly. That, allegedly. I'm hoping that your family isn't still in the hood. But, you know, she know this nigga for a whole year and she was spending a half a million dollars on him. Cardi B said it was not least that she did spend a half a million dollars. And she dollars. told a fan, bitch, watch your mouth or I will pull receipts, bitch. She told a fan that it was a clapback. We saw it on the shade room because we do follow the shade room. I do. Kaya, you blocked the shade room. You blocked them, but I followed the I thought the, the man was supposed to take care of the woman. Cardi B, Listen, if you had a half Cardi, a before you even go on, you already understand that we're living in a time of kept women. Now, kept, some kept women have dicks. You know these kept women. You but said the same thing about Todd. You said Todd was a kept woman. You said so it. So you're trying to say Offset is a kept woman? <laughs> <laughs> Cardi, you ain't know this man long enough to be around here bragging about spending 500000 on a nigga. See, the problem I got is don't spend $500,000 and y'all still pulling up to the to the two-bedroom projects. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't don't do that. I just Don't spend $500,000 and still pull up to the projects. Now, listen, let me say this. Now, if if your mama, you, and your family like where y'all live at, now. allegedly, oh, mama, we don't know. She might have bought her mama a half a million dollar house. She could. I'm hoping so. I hope she. Had. I hope she did that first before she bought that. Before she bought offset, five hundred thousand. I hope she did that first. Okay, I hope so too. Because if I had five hundred thousand dollars cash in my hand, cash in my hand. I'm not buying a nigga a motherfucking thing. I'm gonna scrape my mama. Now listen, now I have to be on the fence a little bit with that because when I got when I bought my home and things like that, my mama liked living in her house. It's where she liked to live. So if they like, if they like if her mama liked living in the projects, then the best second thing she should have did was gave that money to the to the Latin community. Bitch, them people in Puerto Rico still in the dark. They need Christmas toys. You and Offset should have took your ass to Puerto Rico and gave them children a Merry Christmas instead of buying that tired ass family. Now, I'm not on your side with this, Cardi B. If you had $500,000 to give, you should have gave it back to the Latin community. I'm gonna need you to do some Because I've been thing. sending my money over there to Puerto Rico since the hurricane. Yes, and why would she not do that? Them baby need toys. They Listen, got no I sent my, no my money to Puerto generator. Rico. I sent my money to the St. Jude Foundation. Katie. I said it's Puerto Rico and the St. Jude Foundation. Katie's still recovering too. They are, but why Cliff? That's our five things. But why Cliff? Why Cliff had lots of money and why Cliff? I don't know what that is. Allegedly, I read some things. I didn't like what why Cliff. I don't want to get on there. Why Cliff ain't been doing what he supposed to do over there in Haiti? Let me write. I don't want to get into okay. that. Well, we on Cardi B right now. Cardi B, if you had five hundred thousand dollars, I feel like you should have donated some of it to the Latin community instead of giving it to Offset, trying to show why. You know, because they say his baby mama and that, then they don't got no money. You could have bought his baby mama house. Yeah, she all on YouTube saying she homeless. Are you kidding me? Listen, I don't appreciate. Is this allegedly, or you watch this with your own eyes? I watch this with my own eyes. She says she ain't seen Offset and ain't got no money. She on Section Eight. Don't do that. I just would rather her had gave that bunny to the, the Latin community in Puerto Rico. So what I'm gonna send is you to Cardi B. I want Offset's access to your bank account frozen. I don't want at Offset to have no more access to your bank account. And I want to freeze all funds uh, until 2019. Because right now she's spending recklessly. Yes. And, and we she's don't even not know thinking. If and I told her to think. Don't let these gazoos come in and take you for everything that you got. Don't let the record label steal. The blouses. Steal. It'll be the blouses. The chemise. Yeah. The chemise. I told her this from the beginning. They wear some, you know what? They wear some pretty tight pants. I love you. And call me. You could have called me and gave me a hundred of them thousand and let me wrote you a hit album. <laughs> <laughs> so right now what I'm going to send you to I want offset to be off all access to Cardi B's bank account yes, is please. off limits because, because we want her to win we honestly do want Cardi B to win and we don't want no nigga to so come so you think this. Mona Scott just bought the Bentley or the Rolls Royce I do show? think it's Mona because you know I know they're going to come is out this with some weird show I know or do you think Cardi B so, spent so you never know these well, days well no she said that she'll produce receipts so she's standing behind the half a million listen we want Cardi B to win we really do I do do you think she that slow to do that no now you know I don't have nothing well listen to, say. to her lyrics I, you know I don't have nothing bad to say listen about Cardi to B. them lyrics we here at the Queen's Court don't have anything listen bad to listen to them say. lyrics you might be a little delayed we and let here a at the Queen's Court out of 500,000 I don't care my pussy good enough my we pussy here worth at the a half Queen's a million Court. you ain't getting my money we here at the Queen's Court don't have nothing negative to say about, about Cardi B because yes we do 
<laughs> you should not have bought that nigga no half a million dollar car. You should have gave that money to Puerto Rico. So I'm freezing your accounts. I want to know did you pay ta did you pay taxes on that five hundred thousand? I want to know. I need receipts on those taxes. And um, we here at the Queen's Court, we love you, Cardi B, and we also love Jocelyn Hernandez. Not not just because we love you. You know Jocelyn ain't spending no five hundred thousand on Stevie. Not on Stevie. Not she on Stevie. Not. She'll spend spend it on Bonnie Bella, but not on Stevie. No. Now Stevie. listen, we send this her to the remedial reading classes, and we also send this her to a full so two you, years of English. What you send us in? I'm freezing her account so that boy can't steal no more her money. What you send us in her to? I'm with you on that sentencing. Okay. So the so the judge said double rule that we are sentencing offset away from your money for five years. And please have a prenup if y'all decide to come on and get married. Get you an accountant and a and a money manager. Cause money manager would have told her not to manage to get that nigga no no car and no watch for no five hundred thousand dollars. Don't he got his own money? I don't know, but I, I don't know. I just wouldn't do it. It's just me. Next case. Next case. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next case. Oh, girl, you st sister, why? Can I ask you why before we even call the name? Is there a specific reason why? She's in danger of losing her coin for a Peter. You can't lose your coin for is a Peter. It, are you asphyxiated on her? So the, what is the reason why did she stay on the The dock? people brought her on the dock. The, so the people brought... Do you yes. have the person that brought her name up on the dock? Yet? You don't? I don't. Next week... Listen, let me tell y'all whole something. Next week, we will be bringing... We will be putting y'all names... Because, see, this, we don't even give a fuck about them hoes, right. to be honest, bitch. This is strictly entertainment celebrity roast. Y'all bitches submit these hoes' names. And y'all bitches that get mad because y'all be on the docket, y'all fans submit y'all <laughs> to the docket. Sure do. So we're going to start posting their pictures in the uh, We're going to start the posting Instagram these people's screen the names and their pictures. We're going to start doing that. But for now, next week, because we will be on every Monday. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. ish. 10 is colored people time. Y'all know yeah. we ain't never on time. But, bitch, next on the docket is K. Michelle. Hold on, before we go to the docket right now on Cayman Shed, there's breaking news. <laughs> breaking news. Bad Mr. T Mr. Shoe Wearing Toe Ass Motherfucking Kimberly has failed. <laughs> Live on stage. Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> oh! Oh no! Oh my god, wait a minute, it was in that shoe! <laughs> it was in that shoe. Bitch, was it that shoe? Oh my god! <laughs> Then, according to one of my good friends that keeps me a, 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 a keeps me on, <laughs> no shoe wear ass Kimberly has just collapsed on stage without performing. <laughs> Her song from Hidden Figures. Her knees was weak. <laughs> oh, oh, Father God! Oh, help up, Lord! She sound like that girl from Escape Bell on the stage. Help up, Lord! Wait a minute, we got to watch that one. Oh my dear God oh, in heaven, Lord. Lord, that bitch ain't been right since I read that bitch oh, last year, you last Christmas. I read that bitch out of them known shoes. You know the shoes shaped like them known feet. Ooh. I read that bitch out of her known Ooh. shoes, bitch. Look how they slung that ten and sent it in. Bitch, breaking news, <laughs> the bitch fell. I said, Father God, help her, Lord. We gonna have to one more time. Oh, <laughs> oh dear God. Oh my God. Oh. Oh, Lord. We be get, listen, we get breaking news. Thank you, Terrell Beasley. <laughs> Thank you so much for providing me with that breaking fuck news. Fuck Kimberell. Fuck that hoe. You know I'm fucking with the Christians. Y'all know I don't fuck with the Christians. I walk fuck in the that dirt. raggedy bitch. Oh, ugly bitch. Raggedy motherfucking Ooh, no shoe. Ah, I thought she was going to go to Holland Beach. Bitch, bitch I thought that hoe was going to top off past the stage. Bitch, fuck that She hoe. might should have. <laughs> All right, so get back on the docket. Who the we have footage Jay up Michelle. Michelle talk about she a swing a sucker pussy with a hug. No, she said. Who the footage up when she was on the reel talk about her legs couldn't hold that ass she bought. <laughs> K. Michelle, I knew you was lying about that lupus, bitch. I knew you had loose puss and never had lupus. <laughs> but then for you to get on that okay, show. Okay, Kai, before we even go forward, can you please just give me the, can you tell me the difference between loose puss and lupus? <laughs> lupus is a disease that attacks the, the, the. We ain't got nothing to do. I don't want the Lupus Foundation coming fucking with me. I had always said that that bitch did not have lupus, that I had never seen her at a Lupus Foundation, a Lupus walk, a Lupus event. She had never donated no money to Lupus. I knew that whore didn't have no Lupus. But y'all act like Kaya Damas was hating on that bitch. I told y'all that bitch didn't have no Lupus. She had loose puss when the walls have been shh. Taken from too much dick, being in it, defiled dick, 
too much pussy licking and sucking and swinging. You know, bums fuck bums. That's why when Toya called me a bum, I was like, bitch, a bum, Regine, a bum, you a product of bums. Bum swaps, shares, spit, and saliva, and cookies. Heard you done went back to Regine. You know, they, you a get bum. Get it all out. Toya, you a bum. Out. Bitch, you on here, you 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 on here giving a bitch that fucked your baby daddy full free promotion. That's bummy to me. A bitch, you you fucking the same nigga that fucked your baby daddy. That's bummy to me. Bummy is when you say me and my husband go to a club and see who can get the most numbers. That's bummy to me. Bummy is when you swing. We talked about Carcucci. When y'all hoes just pretend <laughs> to be bulldaggers for a night to pick up hoes to be freaks with your fiance. That's bummy to me. So for K Michelle to go on there and say. Me and my husband see who can get the most numbers. And, you know, when I'm tired, that's less work for me. And I like eating pussy on Saturday and fucking gazoos on Sunday. You end so up with loose puss. This is not a This is video footage. This is video Hold on, let me this, pull That's up how you end up with loose puss, girl. You know, the pussy don't want to touch it. I've gone to docs. I found a doctor now, Dr. Gavami, that's going to do it for me. Mm -hmm. And... You know, he said, I see this all the time. But imagine if you don't have the money to get it out. Yes. Right. Yeah. So you got these big olds, you got these butt shots, and you got you in pain, and you don't have any money oh. to get it out of yeah. you. They don't tell you about that. They don't say anything yes. about that. So and now I'm to the point where I've been getting tired of, of it for years, trying to kind of lipo. Now it's to the point where it's affecting my health. Mm -hmm. And wow. we're thinking that the aching and everything that made me go and, you know, get checked for lupus but is loose, uh, because my leg, my butt is so big and my legs are not holding it. Oh, wow. this is so real. people don't talk about that yeah, though. Yeah. They just want you to be like, ah, that's not it. So I'm literally January the 12th, I go and they're removing the foreign objects out of my body. Ladies and gentlemen, before you start, hold on, before you start. Before you start. Ladies and gentlemen, before you before Kaya starts with this, I have but when y'all say I'm hating, I have foreign substances running through my body. I have silicone. I got silicone. I, no, I ain't got no motherfucking semen in my body, bitch. This this shit jiggle like water. This Evian. This right here is Evian, motherfucking Ooh. water, bitch. This ain't no motherfucking semen in here. But I got foreign substances running through my body. I just, here's my thing. I want to touch the screen. Sister, can you do it with me? Come on, just touch the screen. Touch the screen, touch it with me. Okay, Michelle, we don't hate you over here at the Queen's Court, but what we want you to do is, let me let me find the camera. We want you to get you your self-esteem. You not to put all that shit in your way. We want you, no, because I want, you wanted the big, I wanted the big. Oh. Man. The bigger the ass, the bigger the love. I thought the bigger I went, they but sister, that, love But when me. I was getting my ass pumped, I was doing it because I used to be a prostitute on the street. But sister, you is a transgender. This is a real hoe with a real pussy. You was you was trying to look like a woman, be like a woman, feel, show what you felt on the inside. This bitch already had a pussy and ass and titties. Why would you go try to look like a transgender or, or a drag queen? Y'all hope, bitch, you know that ass was too heavy for you. Now your body rejecting all that and you sick and you hurting and you tried to blame it on lupus. You didn't know what was, was wrong with you, bitch, because you looking for love. Self-hate, bitch. <laughs> Listen, we want you here at the I don't like store. that, bitch. We want you to <laughs> find that. I knew you that. was dizzy. And then for her to get on there, you know you know that fat bitch on the reel don't like her. She <laughs> couldn't wait to drive. You talking about Lonnie Trippin' Nigga? Lonnie Lonnie couldn't stand it. Bitch, let me tell you something. I can read Lonnie Trippin' Nigga because I got two nicks. She got three. <laughs> so I can read her, bitch. A fat bitch reading another fat bitch, so that makes it valid. Her pussy was stank. Now she talk about she want to get her ass took out. Now she talking about she can barely walk. She got all kind of shit going on. Kay Michelle, girl, I'm Listen, it's not about the these niggas. You can't let these niggas ruin your I'm life. I'm electrocuting that bitch because she done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm electrocuting that bitch. But you knew better. You act like you so smart, but so fucking stupid. I'm electrocuting that bitch. You, I'm electrocuting that bitch. You gonna put her in the chair. I want that bitch in the chair. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we gonna head on and send this. We gonna send this. For being a stupid ass bitch. Because after she said all that dumb shit on the reel, she turned right back around and said, oh, me and my husband is swingers. See, swingers get loose. Put. That's why it ain't your ass that's hurting bitches. Everything else that's affecting your spirit while you out here eating pussy and carpet munching on O's for that swinging ass fiance of yours. You know, and you think that that was cool to say. And you got all these little young girls looking up to you like you somebody. Girl, you is trash and I'm going to let you your bitch ass. 
She got I'm gonna let you cook that bitch, and I'm gonna pour water and oil on you first, cause I want your fuck ass to fry. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So the we at the Queen's Court have sent this cable chair to the chair. Let's bring the gavel down. The chair. <laughs> That booty to the chair. I want that ass to fry first. Now, once your spirit separates from your body, <laughs> what we will do is try your spirit. Once your spirit, because your spirit, spirit and your is body defiled. Now, she defiled. How can you not be defiled when you and your husband, a real man that love you, ain't gonna want to share you, girl? He not gonna want to share you. That ain't nothing but a gazoo. A blouse. Them blouse be the film of a top. A leotard. Now, the man that I wanted her. For, I love her for having with my man Idris Elba. Well, they got pictures of him looking ashy like a crackhead. I gotta pee. I'm out. Uh huh. I think he done got some of, <laughs> some of K. Michelle ash on him. He should have never fucked a whole like K. Michelle. Why y'all be? This bitch just as dizzy. So now he got that dizzy spirit on him. So what are we gonna do about the spirit when the spirit separates from the body? Is we gonna sentence the spirit? Is we gonna say what we gonna spend the sentence the spirit to? I keep telling y'all that's them ink of a sucker. What we gonna do? Do you got something in store for the spirit? What we gonna do? We gonna send the spirit to the Ouija board. Oh, no, we ain't playing with the Ouija board. <laughs> we, you, they already said it because it's like, girl, then they want to get mad when we get when they end up on the docket. Like, why would she get on the view? Look, look at me hollering the view. The real and say these things and then want somebody to feel sorry for her it's like we're not gonna feel sorry for you girl we the people are laughing at you you knew that was too much ass to begin with i ain't feeling sorry for her i'm sending her pussy to the gas chamber and i'm sending her ass to the electric chair dipped in oil but sister look warm. at my ass cool up look at my ass my ass big like that too well it don't feel hard like the rest of them hoes ass here, so you must have went to a good doctor. I you ain't all that money K. Michelle got that a doctor would have told her that her little legs was too little for that. I Tiny did. got that, Tiny having them same aches and pains, I bet you. You think so? Mm-hmm. Because oh, so you would think that the doctors would say, no, baby, you can't do this, but they just want to get their money, and they just as dizzy, they don't give a damn. Fuck K. Michelle, we don't fuck with you, bitch, over here at the Queen's Court. <laughs> Next <laughs> All right, Nick. Oh, Jesus. I'm sick of this motherfucker. Next on the docket, we have Kenya Moore Whore. They say that we the people sent in information that Kenya Moore Whore was in danger of losing her job because she still has not produced a husband and VH1 is trying to sue her because that was a part of her contract. So, Kenya Moore, we want to know where's the husband and are you willing to lose all your little VH1 check for not producing this husband? What do you think? You think she's going to produce the husband or is this all make-believe? The people say she's in danger of losing her job because she has not produced a husband. Mm -hmm. You think she's going to produce? They already done found her. How much was it? Twenty twenty five thousand, twenty seven thousand. VH one found her twenty seven thousand for not producing a husband. You talking about Bravo? Oh, Bravo, Bravo. Yes, yes, yes. Sis. I'm sorry. Bravo. Find, find let me her. go. Let me go read it because I like to read these things because I don't want none of this shit to be allegedly. Right. No. The people sent that in. Let me. Oh damn. Bitch, hand me my hand me my. Uh, bitch, I don't have too much to drink so far. Is you? Well, we at the end of the day. <laughs> we about to start taking calls. <laughs> so um,